Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Money Text Guru. In this video, we are going to learn about knit fabric structure analysis of a popcorn jersey. Before we start our structure analysis, as usual, we need to follow our thumb rule. We need to remove all the loose and threads and we need to draw a vertical line to get a perfect knit structure analysis. Before start our analysis, let's see there is a repeat just to see actually uh, that this is the popcorn structure actually it is aligned diagonally so to get a one complete repeat we need to unravel from here to here to get a one full repeat so when we may need to unravel more number of courses to get a one complete uh, repeat of a popcorn jersey fabric so let's unravel course number one After that vertical line, I could see the complete loop is getting unraveled from each and every needle. So, it is clear with our usual notation technique, we mark the course number 1 as knit, 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 knit. It's a all knit course. Let's unravel course number 2. After that vertical line, I could see the same as course number one. The complete loop is getting unraveled from each and every needle. So it is very clear even the course number one and two are all all knit. Let's unravel course number three. After that vertical line, knit, knit, knit even the fourth needle is as well knit the complete loop is getting unraveled and it is getting continued so all the needles again the course number one and two three are same it's all all knit with our usual notation technique we have marked the course number one two and three let's move on to course number four After that vertical line, first needle is knit, second knit, third knit and fourth I could see there is a half moon structure in needle number 4 and even the half moon structure in needle number 8. So knit, 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 this is knit, this is knit and third needle is also knit and fourth needle I found the tuck structure. So it is very clear. The first three needle is knit followed by fourth needle tuck and again uh, next three needles is knit and followed by one tuck structure. So with our usual notation technique we can notify the course number four as knit 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 followed by tuck again knit 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 followed by tuck. So let's unravel course number five. After that vertical line tuck knit 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 fourth needle is tuck again knit fifth needle is knit sixth is knit again seventh is also knit again how we found in course number four the same is getting repeated even here actually in the fourth and eighth needle we found that tuck structure half moon unravel unraveling of loop we found in course number i mean needle number four and eight so the course number four and five are same 3 knit followed by tuck and again 3 knit followed by tuck. So now we are going to unravel course number 6. First is knit, second is knit, third needle is knit, again fourth is tuck. We can find there is a half moon even here, eighth needle. So it is very clear the first 3 needles is knit and fourth needle is tuck. Again, first, second, next, next, three needles is knit. Again, fifth, I mean, fourth needle is tuck. Again, followed by three, three knit loop, and again followed by one tuck loop. So, course number four, five, six are all the same. You can see the continuously the fourth needle we found there is a tuck structure. So, with our usual notation technique, we have marked all six courses. So, let's move on to course number seven.
after that vertical line we could see the complete loop is getting unraveled from each and every needle so we can declare the course number 7 as all knit so with our usual notation technique we have marked as knit 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 it's a all knit just like course number 1 2 and 3 let's move on to course number 8 After that vertical line, knit, 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 knit. There is no half moon or a background, uh, back and uh, float of loops in this course. So it is the complete loop is getting unraveled from each and every needle. So it is very clear this particular course is all knit. Again, the course number seven and course number eight are same. It's a all knit course. Let's unravel course number 9. After that vertical line, the complete loop is getting unraveled from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th and 10th. See, the complete loop is getting unraveled from each and every needle. So, it is very clear the course number 9 as well is all knit. So, before notifying the course number 9, we could see in the second needle there is a half moon structure. In the second, 6th and 10th. So, in the upcoming course, we, we may found different structure in the particular course. So, let's notify, the, let's mark the course number 9 as with our usual notation technique, it's a all knit. So, now we are going to unravel course number 10. After that vertical line, the first needle is knit, second needle is stuck. We found the art, a half moon structure in needle number 2. And again needle number 6, 7, 8, 9, we found the complete loop is getting unraveled. And again the 10th needle, we found the, the tuck structure. So we can notify the course number 10 as knit followed by a tuck. And again 3 knit followed by a tuck. And again, we found two knits. So, let's unravel course number 11. Even in the course number 11, we have second needle tuck and sixth needle tuck. So, the complete loop is getting unraveled from one uh, and then three, four, five needle. And sixth again, we found a tuck. Seven, eight, nine, the complete loop is getting unraveled. Again, the tenth is a tuck structure. So, the course number 10 and 11 are same. So, with our usual notation technique, the first needle is tuck followed by, first, the, sorry, the first needle is knit, the second needle we found the half moon structure tuck and followed by three knits and again followed by a tuck and again two knits. So, let's unravel course number After that vertical line, the first needle is knit, second needle is tuck, third, fourth and fifth needle complete loop is getting unraveled and again sixth needle we found that the half moon structure. Again in the tenth we found half moon structure. The half moon structure is found in loop in the needle number 2, 6 and 10. So it is very clear the course number 10, 11 and 12 are the same. Actually, in the this is the complete one full repeat for a popcorn jersey. Actually, you can you could see the tuck structure is just shifted to two needles. So the popcorn structure is arranged in a diagonal way. Uh, since I know it is a 12 feeder repeat, I have restricted the, my analysis to 12 courses. Whoever is analyzing for the first time, please analyze more number of courses to get a one complete repeat. I hope this video is very useful and informative. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe the channel. See you all in the next video. Till then, bye from your Money Text Guru. Bye-bye.